Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guy. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, I have a review of the um, the Castle Arts Gold coloured pencils. Now, I'm sure most of you know that these are out by now. They've been out a few months. Um, I'm only getting around to doing them now. I've just been so busy what with everything, doing the giveaway and doing the Christmas lists and all those other things. Um, but I'm hoping that I've I've got a lot of plans for 2022 and I'm hoping that in 2022 I'm going to have I'm going to kind of like up the channel a little bit not necessarily make it more professional or anything like that because I don't want to do that I just want to keep it the same format that it is just me talking about the product and that really being about it I don't want to turn it into uh these videos where it's all like clever camera work and all the rest of it I'm just not really that's just not for me uh, I just want to try and do the the videos but what I want to do is I want to do a lot more comparison videos I want to do uh, a lot more kind of like like unique pencils I want to I want to try and review pencils that maybe people haven't heard of I want to try and get get hold of really odd pencils um but like I say I want to do a lot of comparisons I want to go back over some old reviews that I did when I didn't have like good camera equipment and good audio so I want to redo those as well and um, I just want to try and invigorate the channel a little bit I think maybe I'm a little bit too drab in these videos when I'm talking and I have been really tired because I'm a pain and what have you for the the best part of since July onwards or like August time but um I just have a lot of good ideas. I think they're going to be good ideas in any case for 2022. But uh, we just need to see how it all pans out. Hopefully, it'll it'll work out the way I want it to. But um, for now, as you can see, this review is of the, the 120 set, the 120 wallet set of the Castle Arts Gold. Now, I liked the, the Castle Arts coloured pencils, the first batch that they came out with. Uh, and then they kind of like split those down into separate sets, like botanical sets, seascape sets, that type of thing, in little 24 sets, which I thought was a really great idea. Uh, if you look on Castle's website now, they are coming out with a huge amount of products as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the direction that Castle are going in because they, they really are going in a good direction really fast and... My experience, well, not not my experience, but listening to other people who who have like reached out to me, the customer services side of Castle seems to be really good as well. I mean, like, I've not ha ever had to deal with them because I go directly to uh, the contact or the guy who who runs the company because I know him. Um, so. I think for the most part their, their customer services. I've not I've not had any bad reports about Castle's customer services. Put it like that. Um, so I think that they're really going in a good direction, and I'm really excited to see this company grow. They're a UK company, and um, that's not the reason I am excited to see them grow. I'm excited to see them grow because, like I say, they do seem to really care about their customers. And after talking to the guy who owns the company. Um, that's that's where his passion is as well you know in making sure that the the, the castle customers are are looked after um and that they are receiving good products which up you know has always been my experience so like i say this is a 120 wallet set there is a 120 tin set there's a 72 wallet set and a 72 tin set as well the prices and links for the the, the sets will all be over on the written uh, review that I've done of the these and the reason why just in case you're new to the channel the reason why I do that is because if I mention the prices here on the video I can't change the prices every Sunday I sit down with my laptop and I go through all the links that I've provided and make sure that the prices are either the same or if there's cheaper prices then I'll I'll delete that link and put up the cheaper price link so I, but I can't do that on this video, so I never mention the prices on the video. But to to see what the prices are, just go across to there will be a link down below to the written review. Just click that link, and it'll take you straight over to the written review, and you'll be able to see the prices. The written review is always split into subheadings like uh, characteristics, performance, price, sets, 
and then like a conclusion. So it's broken down into different sections and you can just go to whatever section you want really quickly. Before I get into the pencils, one, one thing that I really want to talk about here, and I don't know whether other people have been talking about this. Um, inside this set came these two booklets. Now, this one here is basically like the color chart of all the different colors that they have. And um, there's a little bit of information about the, the different products that they do as well. And some, some like... Uh, what do you call them, like tutorials that you can follow along with. I've got to say, this booklet here, right, of every single pencil that I've ever reviewed from every single company, and I've reviewed a lot, by far, this is the best, most informative booklet that I've ever seen for uh, not, not just somebody that's new to colour pencils, but to even people like myself that have been around colour pencils for quite a while. I don't mind showing you this because, you know, um, I'm not giving away anything here. If you buy a set of these pencils, you'll get this booklet. But inside this booklet, it is amazing, right? So, tells you a little bit about the pencil here, okay? Um, tells you about caring for your pencil. Now, I know some of this stuff might be really basic, but for... People just getting into colour pencils. Stuff like this is important. So, like these drawers, these bandolins, these wallets, things like that. How to sharpen your pencil, uh, a page on that, using the sandpaper, you know, not wasting your pencil. Um, then there's ways, different ways of holding your pencil. They teach you here how to hold your pencil, how to get the best from your pencil. Light strokes, hard strokes, low pressure strokes, that type of thing. The various different... Uh, surfaces that you can use these pencils on like wood uh sanded paper um eggshells things like that lots of different really cool ideas for using your pencils this is outstanding okay i know color theory is the most boring subject in the world but it is really important that you understand at least the basics of it um but inside this booklet here, as you can see, they go well and they go really in depth here with the, the color theory, the color wheel and all the rest of it and complementary and uh, secondary colors, tertiary colors, primary colors, everything. They go through it all. Uh, again, more information here on the, the color wheel um, and then a little bit here on the meanings of colors. Uh, then they talk about light. So... This is really, really good as well. You know, showing how to, with, with your colour pencils, get that 3D look. Um, again, up here as well, showing you how an object will look with light coming down on it. The, all information that's really, really important when they're getting into various different strokes, hatching, circular strokes, scribbles, stippling, all these things. Um, how 12 pencils can make 144 colours. This is outstanding this absolutely outstanding how they show uh, how these 12 colors mixing so you would like go orange and uh, red violet it's going to give you this color here uh, orange and blue violet it's going to give you this like brownie color orange and blue is going to give you this green and so on so really really good I mean the, the information is just outstanding um, Again, more information here about blending, how to blend, uh, diff how to, like using different things like baby oil, Vaseline, natural oils, blending powder, mineral spirits. Um, showing you here like burnishing, the, the effects the burnishing can give you uh, and then showing you like a before and after of the burnishing effects. Uh, really uh, really outstanding information so um, they're talking about here like a colorless blender and then here they're showing you what using a, a white blender or like a white pencil blender uh, for burnishing is going to be like um, perspective drawn I mean they read this booklet here is invaluable it's so well laid out so easy to follow I am really as you can tell I'm really impressed with this I think this is super helpful for uh, anybody buying these pencils and um, there's a little glossary here at the back 
watercolor paint wash perspective all these different things that you might want to know about and um just a, a, a an altogether outstanding book now one of the biggest issues i had with, with uh castle and it wasn't with their pencils or anything like that but it was more with their papers uh they've come out with new paper pads now i'll talk more about these in a different video um but you can see here they've got some white cartridge paper sketch paper uh they've got some bristol board i've used this uh really nice texture to this uh paper and um they've got some black paper again really nice um weight to the paper as well it's not super thin or anything like that so as you can see here 135 gsm and um they've got some tone tanned paper as well so one of the the, the Castle had these like big pads, but the, the, the paper in the pads wasn't very good. And in fact, actually, their in-house artist told the the uh, owner of Castle that as well. So th this is obviously something that they've been looking into and th that they have started to rectify. And rectify they have. Um, so anyway, let's get into the pencils. Now, I have... Um, I have... Uh, rearranged these pencils when they came they came in a certain order um but when i got them i just um rearranged them uh, in order of if you look at their their color chart in the the booklet the i, I rearranged them in that order uh so starting off with whites yellows and things like that you'll see here in a second Okay, so I measured the um, the core of the, the pencils at um, 3.9, 3.9, 3 3.8, which is uh, quite a thick core. And then the, the barrel I measured at about uh, 7.8 millimeters. So... Um, Quite a nice thick chunky pencil. As you can see here, the barrels are um, they're like this beautiful royal, like a uh, like a royal blue, like a ultramarine blue. They're really nice dark blue. Along the barrel, we have Castle Arts here in gold uh, leaf print and the Castle Arts logo, and then we have like a gold ring separating the, the the blue barrel to the the pigment identifier on the pigment identifier we have the word gold obviously because these pencils are the the gold pencils and then on the other side we have the um the pigment name and the number representing the pigment as well um, the ends of the pencils also are capped, so that's a really good thing. You don't get to see the uh, the barrel, or sorry, the, the, the core of the pencil from the end, so they're well protected. But as you can see here, so because they're in a wallet, I've had the, 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 the photographs that I've taken here aren't the best. I'd, it's better when they're in tins to take the photographs, but as you can see here... The colour selection in this set, this 120 set, is really good. Now, I will do another video where I compare the, 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 the gold pencils, the, the 120 gold, to the uh, Castle Arts original 120, but uh, I didn't want to do it here. So anyway, uh, you can see here, really nice selection of yellows uh, coming in here to these kind of like uh, orangey-brown colours. Really nice in the reds. Again, a lot, a lot of reds, purples, dark purples, uh, into the blues, aquas, and then the greens. Now, the greens are just gorgeous, which is the reason why I did the bota a botanical piece, which I'll show you in a second. But the greens in this set are amazing, uh, as are the browns as well. Really nice browns. And... Uh, they have a wonderful selection of greys at the very end here as well. Some uh, kind of like the warm greys and cooler greys. But they've also got like uh, 
like this blue grey and there's also another one in here, I can't remember which one it was I used, Davies Grey I think it is and it's like uh, got a reddy tint going through it, really really nice. Um, the the palette all in all, I'll show you the palette in a section or in a second. But um, when I was so, they're sold as an oil based pencil. Okay, now you guys know how I feel about you know just pigeonholing pencils as oil or wax. I've spoke about this many times, and so what I'd rather do is just describe how the the core of the pencil feels. And for me, they they, they are quite different to the original castle pencils you can you can tell that there's oil in them um but there's obviously wax in them as well but predominantly it is more than like the uh, an oil ingredient but the cores hold a point really nice their layering ability which I'll show you in a second is excellent i did have a few pencils that when I was sharpening, the core was broke. I think there was maybe about three or four. But that, unfortunately, comes part and parcel with the medium that we all love so much. I have purchased and been sent some of the most expensive pencils. And they have issues like this as well. It's It wasn't throughout the entirety of the pencils or anything. they got. Like I say, I think it was about three or four pencils. I think it was this leaf green and um, I think there was a red that kept breaking on me as well this Chinese orange actually it might have been but there was like I said there was about three or four uh, <coughs> but for the most part they, they worked but there was obviously an issue with just these three or four pencils and I don't know whether it had anything to do with the fact that they were in this wallet and so I, I personally don't think that wallets protect the pencils that good during storage. Um, but I could be completely wrong on that. It could have been just a um, an issue with that particular those particular pencils. But nevertheless, beautiful, beautiful pencils to actually work with, which I'll talk about in a second. So as you can see here, this is the uh, swatch that I did with the, the 120. Uh, again, really, really nice selection of yellows and like uh, creamy colours here at the beginning into your goldy colours. Uh, some really nice flesh tones here. Then these ready orangey browns. Um, what I will say is I think maybe um, it's lacking like those kind of like tan colours. Uh, but other than that, I think the palette is perfect. There's some really gorgeous colours in here. Like this one here. This uh, 064. Which I think is. It's it's like a greeny grey colour. It's gorgeous. Um, and as I said earlier on. The greens are just to die for. As are this selection of greys. Which you can see at the bottom here. And uh, the browns. They've got some really nice reddy browns. Orangey browns. Uh, some darker browns. Van Dyke browns. So, all in all, a really, really beautiful palette that they've selected here. Really gorgeous. Um, I completed this swatch on a Strathmore 300 series Bristol Vellum. So, um, when I've been testing the, the pencils, as always, I test them on different papers. Okay, so this one here is like the, the layer test and the blending test. Uh, this one was done on... Claire Fontaine uh, paint on mixed media paper so you can see here with the the layer test so basically what I do for anybody that's new is I have five different columns okay with four different colors so the first column I just do a single light layer the second column I do two light layers and all the way up to five this last layer here this last column uh, just has a single heavy application so you get to see the pigment in its heaviest form and then you get to see how the pigment layers and builds up and you can see here that it builds up really nicely um, with the blending test again the the purpose of this is to provide a third color so we're 
getting two colors like the yellow and the blue and hopefully creating the green which you can clearly see here has been the case uh, with the red and the yellow it's created a clear orange and again with this red and blue it's created a clear purple now that's always my hardest one to create um, maybe it's down to the blue and the red that you select but most okay, of the so time down here at the this bottom test, I've created the one to create and you can see here it's a really nice purple ready purple color that it's that it's created this like sphere and I'm just going to use some odorless mineral spirits on it just to show you how the the um, odorless mineral spirits how the, the 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 pencil core reacts with odorless mineral spirits and for this test I've just used zest it which is a like a, a lemony smell and one that we get here in the UK but I personally don't, I, I say this every time I do this test, I personally don't use odorless mineral spirits, but I know a lot of you guys do. Uh, and so I think it's important that I include this in the test just to show you how the pencils are going to break down. Now, the whole purpose of using odorless mineral spirits is the reason why I do those five layers is because people who use odorless mineral spirits will tell you, most of them will any, anyway, that you need about at least five layers, maybe four, um, of the pencil on the paper before you start using your odorless mineral spirits because you need something for the, the mineral spirits to break down and work with. If you've only got like one light layer, you're not really going to get a good result. But with uh, if you have about five down, five layers, then the odorless mineral spirits breaks the, the core of the pencil down into like this painterly effect and the the benefits of that are the white of the paper that you can see through pencils before you do any burnishing or anything like that uh, all gets filled in because it becomes like a liquid when you use the odorless mineral spirits and when it gets to that stage it also in most cases it kind of like reinvigorates the, the tooth of the paper, which means then that you can come back in. The whole idea of using odorless mineral spirits is to be able to continue layering uh, with your pencils. Sometimes with certain pencils, more waxier pencils, when you get to about five layers, you're starting to struggle to add more layers. But when you use odorless mineral spirits, more often than not, you can then continue back on and at least put on another five layers depending on the type of paper that you're using. So anyway, as you can see here, this is the result of the uh, odorless middle spirits test on the the, the, the Castle Arch Gold colored pencils. Um, I think it, it broke down reasonably well there. Didn't have any issues with it whatsoever and covered the page. I could now come back in again. Now, like I say, this is like a mixed media paper. I could now come back in with the same pencils that I used and add more layers and enrich that colour up even more. So I did create some artwork with the pencils. As you can see here, I created this uh, botanical piece, these pears. Um, I done this on Dermot Lightfast paper. Now this is a high quality uh, art paper. You ordinarily perhaps wouldn't use non-lightfast pencils on a paper of this quality. But the reason why I did do it is because in the interest of showing you how these pencils look on different papers. So we used the Strathmore Vellum and then we used the mixed media paper. And now this paper here, the, the Dermot uh, Lightfast paper, which has a beautiful texture to the paper. And I think it works beautiful with pencils. I think it's one of it's one of my favorite papers uh, i love using it and i think that the the texture of the castle arts gold pencils on this paper worked beautifully uh my layering ability blending ability things like that were just so easy there was no issues whatsoever um I didn't use any odorless mineral spirits or anything, like I say, I personally don't like using uh, odorless mineral spirits, but I just used the, the pencils to mix and blend the colours together themselves, and with this paper, it really kind of like knocked the pencils up 
another notch in my opinion so i was really happy with the artwork of this and uh, i think the pencils performed beautifully on this paper and they worked really well on the strathmore and the mixed media the the, the paint on mixed media paper as well but Obviously, the higher the quality of the paper, the the more you're going to get out of your pencils. But I do fully understand that you ordinarily would not use non-light fast pencils on paper like this. Okay, because this is high archival paper. Uh, it's expensive paper. And so perhaps you wouldn't use ordinarily non-light fast pencils, which we'll talk about in a second. Okay, so as always, I'm just going to do... a uh, a t test here on black paper now that this doesn't define the pencils all this does is it shows you whether the pencils are opaque or whether they have the level of translucency in them so in other words um sometimes wax based pencils like prismacolor will be nice and thick waxy pencils and they'll be quite opaque so you'll not see the black of the paper through the the layer that you place on the paper uh, whereas other pencils, perhaps like um, Faber-Castell, they're more translucent, better for layer, and some people will say um, they don't have such a, an opaque uh, layering ability to them. And so you would maybe see a little bit of the black of the paper through the, the layer. So, But it, like I say, it's personal choice. Each colour pencil artist prefers a certain type of pencil. And this test just demonstrates the type of pencils that you can expect to get from uh the the castle arts gold when it comes to black paper so uh i've just got like a primary blue here and i'm just going to do uh a medium to heavy layer i'm not trying to you know it's not about layering or anything like that it's just about simply showing how the the color looks on the black paper so i would say with that one it's i will zoom in in a second but that's quite translucent i can see quite a lot of the black there when you look at the the color of the 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 core this one next here is a scarlet red there's a little bit of crumbling there but that's because i'm quite heavy handed here with it but again very very translucent you can see you can all you can barely see the red through there uh, next up here is uh, lemon yellow. <laughs> Very translucent again. You can see, and that this this is normally the case. This is normally what you could expect from uh, pencils with a predominantly oil ingredient in them. And hence the reason why I said the Faber-Castell are quite translucent. Um, you can see here, again, this um, Castle Green Light. Very, very uh, translucent. And now the, the white pencil. There you go. I will have an image popping up here on the screen for you as well. A photograph taken of this. But you can see yourself there that these colours are very, very translucent. Out of all of them, perhaps, if I had to say any one of them was had any level of uh, opaqueness, it would be the blue. Uh, the white is quite opaque as well looking. But um, th again, there is a, an element of translucency on it because you can still see some of the black paper through it. So um, it's just a test that uh, just shows you how the pencils are. Again, if you wanted to see the same colours on like a tone tan paper, because a lot of artists use this, so the exact same colours. So that's the uh, primary blue. Scarlet red. Lemon yellow. Castle green light. Uh, 
and then the white. And there you have it. That's the four, sorry, the five colors there that you can see on the tone tan paper uh, as well. So just uh, d different variations of showing you the, the 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 pencils on different colored papers as well. Okay, so in conclusion, I really enjoyed using these pencils. Uh, I tried them. You've seen there that I tried them on quite a few different papers, black and tone tan. Uh, the, the Clairefontaine Paint Dom Mixed Media Paper, uh, Strathmore 300 Series uh, Bristol Vellum Paper, and obviously, and then the, the Dermot Lightfast Paper. So there's five different papers um, that they were tried on, and you can see the different results on them as well. So really, really nice pencils. When I was using them, I did... I, I think there was maybe one or two where the, it felt just a little bit gritty. Uh, and that was only doing the swatch because obviously I didn't use every single pencil. But all the pencils that I used in the drawing, there was none of them that had that gritty texture to them. Um, but like I say, when I was doing the swatch, there was uh, I think there was about two that had like it almost felt like a gritty, uh, like there was a stone or something in it. And I actually kept wiping the paper away to make sure that it wasn't like dirt or grit from. I don't know, something I had put on the table or what have you. And then, obviously, I had the, that small issue with, like, three other pencils that, when when they sharpened, the core broke. Um, I think that might be more down to just luck of the draw, because in the other batches of the, the Castle Arch colour pencils I've used, and I used the, like, the 120 set, and I used... Uh, a lot of the pencils in the 24 sets that they brought out as well. I didn't have any of them that broke. The, the cores were absolutely fine. Obviously now we're mixing, we're playing about here with a different ingredient. And so maybe that is what I was experiencing. Maybe this is like teeth and problems. I, I don't know. But when I, when I buy a set of pencils, I always expect to have maybe one or two, maybe three in the batch that are going to give me a, a problem when sharpening and if i don't get that then it's a bonus but i always expect it it's just unfortunately it's just part and parcel of the medium that we love so much like i say the prices are over in the art gear guide so if you want to know more about the prices please just click on the link down below it'll take you across to the written review but other than that i really really love these pencils i think what castle are doing at the minute is fantastic and for future reference i will be doing a review of their uh, pastel tint pencils which are just colored pencils with a pastel tone they are just look out for the review they're gorgeous uh, and then they have this other 48 set of uh, metallic colored pencils so I will be doing reviews of those as well coming up soon but for now um, I really love these castle gold um, I'm hoping, like I said, that the the sharpening issues I had with those three pencils were just like a a one-off thing. I haven't seen anybody else's reviews yet, so I don't know if any of the other reviewers had the same experience. Uh, if not, then it probably is just a one of those, you know, one of those things, uh, and it's nothing to to really write home about. But obviously, if other reviewers had the same experience, then there might be something to to look at there but other than that beautiful pencils beautiful layering beautiful uh blending ability and um on all papers that i used them on they they reacted beautifully anyway guys thanks very much for watching this review uh, i will look forward to seeing you all again very soon uh and um I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful Christmas. Hopefully this video will be out before Christmas. But if it is, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful Christmas. And I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks. Bye.